Hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, we are bringing a video to you that we promised would bring in the last video, and that is about the 40 days of preparation before the new Hebrew Jewish year, 5785. Um, if you haven't seen the video already, I did a video about um, the seven R's of Tishrei, the seventh month on the Hebrew calendar, and um, and it was a significant um, video and information. And if you haven't seen it, I'd really uh, recommend checking it out because I said we're going to be preparing ourselves now leading up to October. That's when Tishrei is, it's in mm. October. Um, you know, God um, really stirred me to get ready for my upcoming trip to the US, my first ever time in the US, which I'm excited about. And, um, and, and it worked out to be about 40 days before I would reach the shores of America. Uh, but he also, uh, at the same time, really showed me the importance of getting ready for five, five, seven, eight, five, the new Hebrew Jewish year. I know some people say it's not the real one in the Bible, it's, it's the civil one. But whatever the case, we believe that the seventh month of Tishrei in October is significant this year, don't we? Absolutely. And not only that, but P Pauline's had uh, words from God confirming the need mm. and the importance to really get ourselves ready. There's so mm. much, I feel, hanging in the balance for good and bad. Mm. And, and it's going to be up to us, the church, mm. uh, and our prayers, whether we you know, see God move or whether you know, we see things happen uh, for bad because, um, because you know, there's things going on that we need to pray about. And um, I just want to tell you again that, that it was in 2019 in Tishrei that that God really stirred me to do this, didn't he? Mm. And little did I know that six months later, he would launch us into full-time ministry that mm. you see now, and also that would go into full, <laughs> full lockdown around the world. Two major things, good and bad. And it could be the same again, you know, come yeah. October onwards, it could be the same again. It could be something ma massive on the horizon for bad, but there could also be amazing opportunities, mm. even, who knows, worldwide revival. Um, mm. nothing is impossible. And I just want to share this with you because Pauline's going to share the importance of seeking God at these specific times. Yeah. And, and she's going to break it down to some like really easy to understand points and, and from scripture. But I just want to share a real revelation that I got just recently. Pauline doesn't even know this, but I was reading Acts 2 and it said when the day of Pentecost had fully come, the Holy Spirit came down. And it was poured out on the disciples and they spoke in tongues. And it says this in um, verse 5. It says, now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at the sound of the Holy Spirit, the multitude came together and they were bewildered because each one was hearing them speak in their own language. That led to 3,000 people getting saved. <laughs> what really clicked, what really uh, just was illuminated to me through this was the fact that there were thousands of men observing the feast of Sukkot. Mm. They were watching the festival of the Lord. If they hadn't been there, if they decided to stay home and they were from all over mm. the world, mm. if they thought, I'm not going this year, they would have missed out on the Holy Spirit. Mm. They would have missed out on yeah. salvation. Mm. And, and I want to encourage you today, don't miss out. Yeah. You know, we're yeah. not observing these festivals because mm. it, our, our salvation depends on it. Yeah. Absolutely not. Um, we're doing it because it's God's calendar. Mm. Yeah. And out of seven festivals, four have been fulfilled mm. and three have yet to be fulfilled. The next one is Feast of Trumpets. I said in the last video, it could be the rapture. <laughs> um, you know, who knows? It could be this October. I want to be ready whether it is or not. But we want to be ready for what God's going to do because okay. we believe something big is on the horizon. So I just want to encourage you with that. It's a significant yeah. time. Yeah. And now Pauline's mm. going to break mm. down really the importance of seeking God at this crucial time. Yeah, well, as Luke said, as soon as we agreed um, to, to, and we heard the prompt from the Spirit to set upon this 40-day preparation, because 40 days is often a time of preparation um, in the Bible, mm. God spoke, gave me this word so clearly, and it was from 2 Chronicles 14. And it was when King Asa um, was um, made king and, and the enemy had surrounded them. They didn't know what to do as a people. 
and they started to cry out to the Lord. And what he did was he said, let's take this time to seek the Lord. Mm. And in that chapter, eight times, seek the Lord or sought the Lord, the people, it was mentioned. And mm. eight times the, the, the response was rest and peace, rest and peace. Mm. But you see, the, what King Asa and the people did, they took an oath that we will seek the Lord for this period of time. And they made a covenant with God to seek him. So it was something, a definite act. It was intentional. It's not like, oh, well, we're just, maybe we will, maybe we won't. It was a definite act. And they, they took an oath mm. and a covenant mm. to seek God. And they were in danger of losing their land, um, everything that they had at that time. And because the enemy was coming against them. Yeah, they were. Yeah. And they didn't know what to do. They said we're powerless actually mm. against this, yeah. the enemy. But they sought God. Mm. And this is the eight things that was resulted at um, as a response of them just seeking God. Mm. One, uh, their cities were built up. Mm. Two, they experienced real peace and rest all around them. We want that. That's one of the points of Tishrei, rest. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were given their land. They were in they were in threat of losing their land, but they were given their land and they kept their land. They were delivered from their enemies and God God destroyed their enemies. What whatever's come against you, mm. God wants to destroy yeah. in this yeah. season. Amen. And totally annihilate him. Mm. Uh, they came into a prosperous place and the war ceased and great fear fell on those who opposed them. Wow. And number eight, they had rest on every side, not wow. just on one side, but they had rest all around. Could you imagine rest in your life on mm. every side, your family, your finance, your we health, <laughs> just rest. Yeah. And I think this is such a crucial time. As we are praying and we pray with our global prayer group, we see things increasing an increasing need to pray in the world for elections, for fair elections, for countries at war, mm. for, you know, that mm. we're praying ceasefires will happen. We're praying for, for people not to lose their land and their homes and their mm. health. Mm. We're praying for people's health that are just coming under severe attack. And even in a day with so much medical advancement, sometimes the only option is to seek God yeah. and in prayer for yeah. healing. And so we need this more than ever. We need this appointed time to seek God. Mm. And we need to make a commitment and say, this is our time of mm. preparing ourselves. Mm. As Luke said, as the new year changes, the Jewish new year changes, mm. so much could change. Mm. And we need to not only be prepared, but be prepared for victory. Yeah, yeah. And to, to get back everything the enemy stolen this is, year. Israel probably didn't know they'd be going to war last Tishrei last year, That's this time right. last year. And, and you know, they had to be ready for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So There's one other point I'd like to bring out that God brought out to me. In the middle of seeking God, they made sacrificial free will offerings. Mm. So they all brought offerings and it was a sacrifice. It wasn't a, a, something they normally did. It wasn't the time of sacrifice, but mm. they were showing God their hearts were mm. like it, everything we have is yours. Yeah. And they brought these sacrificial offerings and God reminded me. And in the end of their time of seeking God, they prospered. They had mm. God gave them back more than they ever sacrificed. And God reminded me of the visit of Queen Sheba. And I was reading this recently, how she gave 120 talents of gold mm. to King Solomon and um, plus spices and, 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 and jewels. Mm. But do you know that 120, is in, it's interesting because I always relate that to the 120. In the upper room, yeah, yeah. And you just mentioned that. Mm, mm. And it said, do you know what King Solomon gave her back? Now, he didn't probably even need that 120 talents mm. of gold. But do you know what he gave her back as a result of her gift to him? He gave her back all, everything she desired. Wow. Anything that she wanted in his kingdom, she had. Above and beyond what she'd given. And, and asked for. Yeah, everything mm. she desired and asked for, he gave her. Plus the, uh, the royal bounty that she would have got anyway. But because she would have got a royal bounty from God, because um, uh, from Solomon, because that was the exchange. But because she gave so much, 
He gave her anything and everything that she asked for in his kingdom. You could call that an open heaven. <laughs> You know. I'm not taking this time lightly. I mm. really believe with all my heart mm. that if we seek God for our land, mm. for our nations, for our cities, he will give us our mm. cities back. Mm. He will give us our children back. He will give mm. us the land. He will give us our nation. There are so many laws that we are praying against going through right now. Mm. We need to seek God to turn yeah. over our enemies, to turn over these laws, to turn over things that are coming into our nation that we don't want. It looks impossible, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, so many governments now are just following yeah. this, this liberal, antichrist, woke mm. route and agenda. Yeah. And, and you think, how is it going to turn around? Who knows? But that God could do it just before I believe the end. <laughs> if these people, you know what it says in Joel, yeah. if my people repent and humble yeah. themselves, I will. I will pour out my spirit. I will heal yeah. their land. Yeah. And I believe it's our time to do that. If not now, yeah. we might not have another opportunity. Mm. I, I believe this is a clarion call that's going out to the church. You might not join with us for prayer, but the clarion call is going out. Yeah. Join with someone yeah. and, and join, uh, uh, join someone for a time of seeking God mm. for these massive breakthroughs that he wants to give us mm. for us, for our land and, and for our, our personal lives. Mm. So... That's um, mm. that's really the word of God that sealed for me yeah, this time. Yeah, definitely, that sealed that God has called us to this to make a commitment, mm. and the the more we do it together, that you know it encourages us on the journey to keep going in the <laughs> middle of the forty days when it can get hard. And it's not just us. There's other there's other ministries, organisations yeah. we know that are doing this. Some are praying all the way up to the U.S. elections, yeah. which is significant. Um, but if you want to join us, yeah. uh, we're going to uh, put together, or maybe Paul mm -hmm. has already done it, uh, a list of things to pray for during these 40 days. Um, this will be posted probably tomorrow, and, and it will be about, about 40 days before the Jewish New Year. Um, so if you want to join us, uh, you can yeah. go on the website, citylights.org.uk, yeah. and, and hopefully you can download this, this, you know, this sheet, this prayer, these prayer points, so you can join with us. As Pauline yeah. said, whether it's on your own or with a prayer partner or with yeah. a group, we'll pray this together and yeah. um, and seek God together. You know, you want to throw in some fasting in there somewhere, yeah, however definitely. it suits you. Mm. Um, and the giving. It's a three-fold yeah. cord, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it is. It's the, it's the prayer, it's the fasting, the sacrifice, and the giving. And uh, we do this, as you know, as a ministry. We, we give on three yeah. times a year. And we're going to give again at yeah. Tish Ray. So watch out for that. There'll be something on the website where you can you can join with us in giving to God. Mm. And we're going to pray mm. over um, your prayer request. And uh, we're going to stand together mm. and believe mm. for miracles. Yeah. You know, we see so much um, we, so much. We darkness. see more mm. miracles at Tish Ray, don't we? Mm. Mm. When we give sacrificially, it's our biggest offering. And yeah. it's, it's for the coming year. It's for mm. the blessings that God wants to pour out. And when we, we join with you and we pray mm. for you, we, we see more testimonies than any other time. Yeah. And that's yeah. been years now. And they're increasing. Mm. I think your faith's increasing, our faith's increasing in God. Mm. And as we seek him. I think it's one of the things that released this ministry. Yeah. It was, it was given around yeah. that time, you know, yeah. six months later, bam. You yeah. know, God said, leave your job, <laughs> yeah. do this. And that's why we're recording these videos because yeah. God released us and he wants to release you. I really believe yeah. that. Promotion. In 2019, I felt it was for, for just us. God was, mm. you know, launching us out. But this time I feel there's many in the body of Christ yeah. that are just waiting. You're on the threshold of mm. stepping out for God, however mm. that looks. Mm. And I, I feel this is the time for you. Yeah. So if you want to join with us, yeah. connect with us, and, and we'll, we'll kind of walk with you, pray yeah. with you, and, and together we're going to see God. We're aiming to pray our time about 8 p.m. every night mm. as much as we can. If it has even, to be a bit earlier or a bit minutes, later. Yeah. But for however long it takes, we mm. have got our, our prayers uh, for you, for us, for the nation, and mm. for um, our declarations. And uh, we'll be committing to that mm. um, every evening at 8. So if you wanted to do it at the same time, somebody's already uh, this morning... Um, contacted us and said what time I would like to join this but it'll be about mm. eight we won't be on zoom but we will be mm. praying around that time yeah 
so you can so. do that wherever you are and then hopefully during Tishrei we'll, we'll do some yeah. videos or yeah. lives to, to just really walk through these festivals yeah. this this significant mm. time but we're excited don't be despondent don't be fearful no. you know there is a lot that that has been mm. threatened right now but listen god just got the upper hand yeah and as we seek him he mm. will destroy our enemies he will deal with our enemies as yeah. we it's the number one thing he looks for hearts that are seeking him and we're believing as well that that there can be closure for you for mm. this year mm. even this hebrew year because mm. you know God gave Pauline a vision at the end of last year of what this look would look like this year. And it has transpired to that. And it's been a, a real fiery trial. But she's believing and hoping that that come yeah. October, it's going to release a new season yeah. of, of God's blessing, of, mm. of God's rest. And a lot of you yeah. need rest as well. So um, we'll peace. be praying for that. Yeah. yeah. So God bless and mm -hmm. look forward. We're, we're starting it officially tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so yep. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. So fa Father, we ask for your mm. covering. We ask for your grace mm. that none of this will be difficult. And that this will all be done in your grace, yeah. in your favor mm. and in your time. I pray, Father, for us to prepare our hearts if we have to. If mm. there needs to be repentance, you'll mm. show us things that we can get right before Tishrei mm. and I just pray Father it's going to be a real turning point in our lives in our yeah. Christian lives yes, Lord. and that we're going to see amazing turnarounds mm. um, it, during this time mm. and as a result of this fixed time of, of seeking you Lord mm. and I just pray covering over everyone that wants to join us cover them in your blood Lord them their families their health their finances mm. during this time that nothing's going to distract them yeah from this commitment and us too, Lord, mm. that we will be steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Mm. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Bless you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for connecting. Subscribe for more videos to get all the videos that are posted. And if you want to join us, you can. Uh, we, we meet on a Tuesday and a Sunday at 11 a.m. British Standard Time. You're welcome to join us. Uh, but otherwise, we look forward to connecting during these 40 days. Definitely. Bless you. Open up your heart, open up your mind to the path before you. But I must warn you, there can be and will be no return. Who are you? What's your name? Where you're from? Come and tell me, do you really feel you believe?